Hello beautiful people and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I go from this to this as I share with you an easy five minute makeup look only using five products. I have a lot of simple makeup looks here on this channel, but I wanted to challenge myself even more. I wanted to see if I could do a makeup look that actually made me feel good that only took five minutes. So here it is. I figured it out. I'm going to share with you step by step on how I achieve this look, all the products that I'm using, different techniques, because I'm talking to you, it's not going to be five minutes. But you can rest assured that I've timed this and it does take me five minutes, sometimes even less if I'm really scooting. But for instructional sake, this is what we're gonna do. Let's get it started. First things first, I never ever put makeup on a bare face because it's not good for your skin. I always have a skincare base, which usually is just three products, a moisturizer, an eye cream, and UV protection. I know some will say, that's not simple, that's not easy, that's a lot, but you know what? That is one thing that I learned being an esthetician for so many years. You have to take care of your skin if you wanna look good in makeup. By having a good skincare base, not only are you protecting your skin, you're also helping the makeup stay on longer. Again, those three products is really all you need for a good skincare base, but we already got that on. So let's get started with the actual makeup. I'm going to bring you just a little bit closer. Ooh, this face is getting swollen. <laughs> first things first, I'm gonna use a skin tint. This is my favorite right now. It is the Hourglass Hydrating Skin Tint in the color 10. This feels like a moisturizer. It's a tinted moisturizer. That's what I like to compare it to, but it has a little bit more coverage. Hourglass did really, really well with this. That's not a really great way to apply this. So I'm gonna take my fingers and kind of just blend this out a little bit. It looks pretty when you apply it that way, but it's actually not very functional. I'm gonna take my Sephora 64 Pro Brush and we're just gonna blend this out. It's so pretty, it's so light. I've been loving it this summer. I saw it all over social media and I was like, mm, I don't know if it's gonna be worth the hype. Cause you know, you never know with things. You have to try it yourself. Cause even if everybody else likes it, you might not like it. This, I tried it and I love it. I think it's very beautiful. If you don't like foundation, if you don't like a lot of makeup, definitely try this out because I feel like it gives a moisturizing effect, but a slight like blur, like a filter. This product also blends really well with a beauty blender, by the way. So if you didn't want to get the brush, use a beauty blender. It actually works even better. Next up is brows. This is very challenging for me as usually my brows are like a three-step process. I am most insecure about my eyebrow hair because it's sparse. I mean, they're there, but they're not. It's a very awkward situation in my opinion. I have found some peace in just using this product. It's not what I would usually do for my brows, but again, we're on a time crunch. Five minutes or less, that's it. I'm gonna use the Benefit Gimme Brow Plus in the color 4.5. This is their volumizing gel. Using this by itself is actually <laughs> pretty amazing. I start in the center and just kind of brush upward. So we're getting a nice like fluffy brow situation. Again, on the other eyebrow here. I think the pigment in this volumizing gel is amazing. I used to really love the Milk volumizing gel, but this has won my heart over because I find that this is a little bit richer. I think if you have eyebrows like me, this will work really, really well for you. I think this adds a really good fullness to them. And although it's not how I usually like to do my brows, I definitely still feel really pretty like this. And at least it's something, it adds something, you know? And if you just had just a little bit more brow hairs than I do, that would be golden for you. I'm satisfied. That looks good. Okay, let's move on to the next step, which is bronzer. I'm a girl that can't go without bronzer. We're gonna go in with the Sigma bronzer. This is their matte bronzer in the color medium, and this is what it looks like. I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics 124 brush. I love this brush for bronzer because you can get a really good contour without having to focus on contouring because the brush does it itself. I just love how my face changes when I add some bronzer and the life that it brings into my face. I'm gonna go over the nose because I love that. Whenever I am naturally tan, I always have like this darkness around my nose. So I try to mimic that with my bronzer because I love how I look when I get a nice tan, like I'm out on the beach all day. I'm gonna take that same bronzer and we're gonna do a little definition of the eye and I'm gonna take a blending brush. This is the MAC 224 blending brush. Any blending brush will work. I'm just gonna go lightly in with that bronzer into my creases. Just, just gonna add some definition, just a little bit. Then I'm gonna take a flat shader brush. This one is the MAC 165S brush. Take that bronzer again. I just go here. 
You might call this extra, but I'm telling you, this changes the makeup look, the game. It brings out the natural brown in my eyes and it just helps unify the entire makeup look. Next step is blush. I love blush, I have to do blush. Again, going for that, I just came back from the beach day. I always have not only a bronze look, but also kind of a reddish look because you know, you've been baking in the sun. I love recreating that. We're gonna go in with this blush stick from Makeup by Mario. It is a cream blush stick and it's in the color Soft Coral. One of my favorites, it's just so pretty. Really easy to apply and we go up like that and a little bit on the nose, just like a tiny, tiny bit. I'm gonna take the Sigma F53 airbrush to blend this out and watch how pretty this blends out. Nice and light. I literally feel like I came back from the beach. It's exactly what I want. <laughs> If you feel so inclined, you can also apply this to your lips. I don't really feel like I need it right now, so I'm not gonna do that, but great dual purpose of using this product. Now for the last final step is mascara. We're gonna use the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in the color Carbon Black. This is my favorite mascara. If you don't already know, now you know. Keeping it super simple because we're not curling the lashes, not doing anything like that. We're just packing on this mascara. I love focusing my mascara personally because of my eye shape really heavy on the ends of the lashes over here because it allows for that more slanted eye look. So I try not to go too heavy inside here, but more again on the end of the lashes. That's just a tip that I picked up doing makeup over the years. Always have to go down to the bottom because it's just a must for me. I find that putting mascara on your bottom lash really opens up the eye, like if you see the difference. All right, hold on, let me put more. It really opens up the eye, you see? It still looks great without it, but with it, it does something. I've always been much more proud of my bottom lash length than my top lash length. I don't know why, but I have longer <laughs> eyelash hair on my bottoms than I do my tops. Yay for longer lash bottom hairs. I do a second coat for good measure because you can do that really quickly. This mascara in particular dries pretty fast, so it's very easy to do a second coat in no time. All right, my friends, we are done. Ah, my lips are really dry. You can totally take off points for me for this because this is the sixth product that I'm gonna use, but you can just end the video now and pretend like I'm not gonna do it. I don't feel like it makes the look, but my lips are really dehydrated, I feel like. And even though I've put on um, chapstick earlier, I don't feel like, I feel like I need something else. I'm not a huge fan of lipstick or lip gloss. I know I will wear it, but it's not like, my go-to every day. It's special whenever I do put it on. I have been trying to get myself to wear more lipstick because I feel like it's more finishing, but if I'm being for real, real, I'm not gonna put on a lipstick or a lip gloss or anything like that. I'm gonna do a chapstick and call it a day. Keeping with that, I'm gonna use this um, new lip balm that I've been loving lately from Ilia. I think that's how you pronounce this brand. I love this brand, they have such good stuff. Anyway, this is their Lip Wrap Reviving Balm. I feel like it sounded weird. This is their Lip Wrap Reviving Balm, and it's really nice. It so looks. I usually use this in the morning with my skincare base, but I feel like I need to put on some more for good measure. Mmm, yeah. Kind of gives you a little bit of a glossy look, but ultimately it's just really hydrating, and I really needed that right now because my lips are so dry randomly. It kind of reminds me of like Carmex. Am I saying that right? Like a luxe version of Carmex. You guys know what I'm talking about? This is what it kind of feels like, but like Lux. That is it for the makeup look. It takes me five minutes to do. Sometimes, like I said, even less if I'm really booking it because I can just like get in a zone and be like, done. So I'll have to definitely actually show you the timing as I do this one of these days. I hope that you guys enjoy the step-by-step and -step explaining the products and everything so that you can try it out for yourself and see how quickly it takes you to do this. That is all that I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos like this. Again, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!